The new FBI report just out on that deadly movie set shooting involving actor Alec Baldwin. The report and what it reveals about the gun Alec Baldwin was holding. Here's ABC's Will Carr tonight. Tonight, an FBI analysis revealing new details about the investigation into the deadly shooting on the set of the movie Rust. After testing the firearm, the FBI concluding the gun, quote, could not be made to fire without a pull of the trigger. Back in December, Alec Baldwin describing the moment he shot cinematographer Helena Hutchins, saying he followed her instructions. She's guiding me through how she wants me to hold the gun for this angle and I, I draw the gun out and I find a mark. So I take the gun and I start to cock the gun. I'm not going to pull the trigger. I, I said, do you see that? She goes, well, just cheat it down and tilt it down a little bit like that. And then I let go of the hammer of the gun and the gun goes off. I let go of the hammer of the gun and the gun goes off. Baldwin adamant he never pulled the trigger. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. But tonight, the FBI contradicting that account, authorities contending testing showing the trigger had to have been pulled. David, tonight a big question is why there weren't blanks inside that gun. Authorities in New Mexico now say it does not appear the gun was intentionally loaded with live rounds. And it comes as they're trying to get Alec Baldwin's phone records. And they say once that happens, they'll refer the case to the district attorney for possible charges. Tonight, no word from Alec Baldwin's camp on the new report.